What's up guys, I'm Phoenix Master one and welcome back for some more Fire Emblem Heroes and today we got the genealogy banner that we were definitely looking forward to because we did see um, Jamka's Grand Hero Battle so it was pretty much confirmed that we might see um, an FE4 banner and finally we have got Quan so we can finally complete the trio of Gen 1, uh, Gen 2 trio of Celif, Ares and uh, Leaf was of course completed and Quan was the only unit that we needed to complete the Gen 1 trio. And he has got Gabe Bolg, of course. It gives him plus 5 attack and defense if he's facing an infantry, armored, or a cavalry unit. And uh, it does not give him any sort of bonus against flyers. Definitely not against Wyvern Riders. And definitely not. <laughs> this would have been so perfect if they had Travin's Grand Hero Battle. But of course, uh, we do not have that. So Gabe Bolg is pretty decent. 16 might weapon that does give you plus 5 attack. So he can definitely hit pretty hard and I do expect him to have good defense and he has got rally speed defense plus. So this is a power crep version of dual rally skills that gives you plus 6 to 2 of your stats for one turn and obviously this is going to be scoring much better in arena and because it does have the plus sign beside its name it's definitely going to be inheritable and this is going to be a new high scoring assist skill for arena. It's definitely going to be the highest scoring assist skill that you can inherit. Um, for units like Mikaya, they do have Sacrifice as their exclusive assist skill, uh, which is 400 SP, but this is probably gonna be lower than that. And we did get Deathblow 4 as well recently in Choose Your Legends 2, uh, which is a 300 SP uh, slot A skill. So they are definitely trying to push these kinds of new high scoring arena skills. And uh, if you run something like Attack Tactic on his slot C and Rest Tactic on his Sacred Seal, then you can basically use Quan to give plus 6 boost to all of the stats of an ally which is definitely incredible. And he has got Draconic Aura as a special and Steady Posture as a new skill. Gives you plus for speed and defense. Uh, defense is definitely pretty nice but speed, not a lot of units need speed in the enemy phase. Um, that's why Bracing Stance is definitely much more coveted in my opinion uh, because it does give you plus for res but um, this can definitely be useful for a lot of units and uh, if Quan has got decent speed then it is definitely going to be pretty useful for him and he has got drive attack um, so he's going to get attacked in the enemy phase and he's going to proc his draconic aura and do 58 damage so he gets 17 points of additional damage from draconic aura and to get 17 points of additional damage from draconic aura you at least need 57 attack obviously he's not going to be having that much attack um, at base uh, but because he got attacked in the enemy phase his gay bulk effect is active so he got the plus 5 attack and that means at base he's gonna be having like 52 attack so these are the stats which I expect him to have he does have really high HP at 44 actually which is actually pretty high for a cavalry unit and uh, I do expect him to have 36 base attack because like I said um, he did do 17 points of additional damage with Draconic Aura and I do expect him to have like average speed at 32 uh, 33 defense they can definitely min max this even further but uh, for doing that they would have to reduce either his defense or his speed um, so his base kit does have uh, this skill which gives him plus for speed so that's why I'm expecting him to have average speed not like not really bad speed so that's why I decided to give him 32 base speed obviously these are not confirmed stats uh, this is something I started in the festival of Hoshido impression video um, I basically give you guys the expectation of the stats I have for these units and we can basically like, speculate uh, from the things we see. We do have a lot of Lance Cavaliers in the game but there are not a lot of good ones out there. Legendary Ephraim is like the best one and Summer Cordelia is also a pretty good one. Um, but we do have a lot of Lance Cavaliers like Spring Xander, Sully, Jagan and uh, stuff like that who are not really the best. So even though he's in the class of a lot of units, I think he's going to be a very strong unit in that. Definitely really excited for him. Um, and then we have got Traveling Dancer Sylvia. Uh, she's Mother of Lean and uh, she has Barrier Blade, uh, which is Barrier Sword of course. But as far as I remember, Sylvia gets Defender Sword, which is Safeguard in Fireman uh, Heroes. And Barrier Sword is given to Lean Substitute Lelia. I'm pretty sure like Sylvia does not get barrier sword correct me if I'm wrong um, but th this is basically the sword version of Burkut Lance Plus 
and this is definitely going to be really incredible for a lot of sword units who have got high defense but do not really have high speed so they can be a really good mix tank and uh units like hinata tobin um even someone like saber and seth they could definitely run this and this is a pretty good weapon actually um if you plan on using this encounter as a slot skill on your red unit so this is definitely gonna be a pretty nice weapon a sword variant of Berkut lance pretty much and she's got dance of course mirror stance um female morgan does have mirror stance so she's the second unit who has got that i believe and uh, she has got a dance skill in slot b those are not really all that impressive and something like wings of mercy is always better uh, you could just have some boosting skill on uh, slot c and just call it a day but uh, mirror stance is definitely going to be a premium skill that you have on her and uh, there are not really a lot of candidates on this banner that can be demoted. Sylvia does seem like a candidate for that, but I'm not really too sure because she does have uh, this uh, this premium skill in Mirror Stance. So she is another uh, Red Dancer. We recently got uh, Red Mikaya as a Mage Dancer. And these are the stats which I expect Sylvia to have. Now she does have more HP uh, than what dancers usually have, 40 base HP. Um, so I do expect her to be somewhat like lean and have same offensive spread of 28 attack and 35 base speed. Obviously her defensive stats can be changed up, uh, but because she has got a barrier sword and mirror stance, I do think that they will have higher defense on her um, and lower resistance because even with 22 base res, if you combine barrier sword and uh, mirror stance, then she basically has uh, 33 res, which is quite a lot. So I do expect her to have more defense than res. Um, counter to that of Lean, who has got more res than defense. So those were my expectations with Sylvia, another red dancer. Um, I do expect her to get demoted. Hopefully she does get demoted because Mirror Stance is definitely a pretty nice skill for a lot of the mage tanks and for a lot of uh, units who have got disencounter built into their weapon. And we don't really have a lot of good defensive skills for slot A, so. It's about time they give us something like uh, Mirror Stance, even though we would have to upgrade uh, that unit to get that version 3 of that skill. And then we have got Levin, finally! Oh my god, he's of course a green infantry mage. He's got Forsetti, that of course gives him plus 3 speed, and he basically has a reverse desperation built into his weapon. So if he's above 50% HP, he will always have that desperation effect. And this makes him a ridiculous offensive unit because for entering desperation range you would have to take some damage and enter that threshold condition but from the start levin is in the desperation range and he falls off the desperation range if he gets a uh, a lot of damage and uh, not taking a lot of damage is definitely going to be pretty easy with him uh, because of his slot view skill and because of this effect so he could definitely kill units pretty easily he also comes with odd attack wave and glimmer uh, Glimmer is definitely pretty nice on magical units because on average units in the game have got um, less resistance compared to defense. So on mages Glimmer is definitely pretty nice and he's got Swiss Sparrow. He's actually the first male in the game who has got Swiss Sparrow. All of the other units who have got Swiss Sparrow in their base kit were female units so that's definitely interesting. And he comes with a new skill Special Spiral 3. So this is basically the effect of Dark Mistletane which Ares has. So basically, if an AoE special or if an in-combat special like Bonfire, Ignis, Luna, Moonbow, anything like that procs in combat, then after the combat you get minus 2 cooldown and we have seen how broken Ares is after uh, that effect. So I hope that this is not really inheritable to armor units or even cavalry or flyer units. I just hope that this is something which only infantry units have because if cavalry units can inherit this then Ares will be able to stack up with his dark mistletoe effect because as far as I remember like the game does not say that his effect does not stack like from what I remember like dark mistletoe does not say that so I am thinking that this might just be an infantry exclusive skill and he comes with auto attack wave which is definitely going to be really nice and these are the stats which I'm expecting him to have I will take nothing less than 40 base speed for Levin. He needs to be fast and he needs to be broken. And uh, he does have 35 base attack from my uh, stats which I've given him. 
And 38 HP is something we can see on him. And uh, he's obviously going to be having low defense. My stats for Levin are definitely min-max, but if they want it, they could definitely reduce his resistance even more and give him more attack. Um, so I'm really hoping that he's a completely broken unit, honestly. Uh, I'm really, really excited for Levin. Please just give him 40 base speed. Please. Just make him insanely fast like he should be. So, really excited for this banner. A big FE4 fan. I was really expecting a Master Knight Lachesis because I feel like Lachesis is kind of misrepresented in Heroes uh, to a degree. So, I would have definitely liked a Master Knight Lachesis, but never mind. We can definitely have that sometime later. Um, and a Legendary Seleph would be really nice at the end of this month if they are going with this FE4 theme, which I think they are because uh, we're going to be getting an FE4 Tempest Trial where Ethelin is going to be a Tempest Trial reward. I think she might be our first uh, Tempest Trial reward that's a healer. So she's wife of Quan and sister of Sigurd. So Ethelin could be a healer from Tempest Trial and I would definitely like that because uh, we don't really have any sort of free 5-star healer that we have unless you count Veronica, but uh, I would definitely like Ethelyn for free to play guides, honestly, if she's a healer, mounted healer that is. This banner is going to be coming out on 7th, and I think we're going to be getting the version update on that date as well. So definitely really excited about this banner. Definitely let me know what you think about my stat expectation from these units, and what would you change, and if you agree with them or disagree with them. Honestly, I just want uh, Levin to be really insane from this banner. He's the unit I want most out of this banner, and I think a lot of people do as well. Um, so this banner has no alts, so that's definitely pretty interesting. So that is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you didn't, please be sure to leave a like, and uh, if you haven't already, then make sure to subscribe for more Fire Emblem Heroes content. And with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day.